Hello friends, in the previous session we uh, learned about some expression trees of relational algebra and in this particular video we are going to deal with the relational algebra queries in a great detail. So what we are going to do this uh, is that we have these four tables and on the basis of these four tables and certain set of queries we are going to write the relational algebra expressions for those. So let's start with it. First of all, we have these four tables and this in these four tables, this product, the maker represents the manufacturer of a certain product whose model number is this, the product's model number is this and the type of product can be PC, laptop or printer and corresponding uh, information of the products, specific information of the products are stored in these three tables wherein let's say if I have a particular PC then it's model, speed, RAM, HD, HD is the hard disk hard disk uh, size let's say and the price are stated in this particular table and similarly for laptop and printer so let's see what kind of queries we can face in this scenario the first one is which pc models have a speed of at least three which pc models have a speed of at least three now so how do we construct this so for this what do we do first of all we select those pieces with speed of at least three so that means i'll have a selection operator over here and a condition over here will be condition over here will be speed is more than equals to three now i will join this table with what with my product table but the condition over there being that the type is equals to pc because i just want to join those tuples which belong to the category of pcs and then when i join this i'll get the makers information also and the model information also but did we require the makers no so very sorry about this we do not require any join over here because we do not require what we do not require we do not require the makers so in this case the query will be simplified to just this thing I'll just cross this query is very simple one just project the model numbers of pcs wherein we have the speed of PC is more than or equal to 3. That's all. So that's all is the work of this relation algebra expression. Let's move on to the next one. The next one says, which makers have a laptop of at least 100 GB hard disk? Now there are two things over here. First of all, we need makers information which is only available in the product table. Next, we need the information about the laptops, which makers have a laptop. So, about the laptops with at least 100 GB hard disk, right? So, what will we require? First of all, what I'll do is, I'll extract the information about the laptops having speed more than equals to, sorry, hard disk more than equals to 100. Hard disk more than equals to 100 for laptops, right? And then I'll, in order to obtain the maker's information corresponding to them, I'll join it with the product table having type equals to laptop. Now, when this entire join table is there, I'll just project the makers. Makers satisfying these constraints. So that's all for this query. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is find those makers that sell laptops but not pcs that sell laptops but not pcs that means uh, there can be basically makers which sell laptops and pcs both so what i'll have to do is i'll have to let's say i have a set like this i have some certain makers which sell laptops and let's say this is this is for laptops this is for pcs now these are the ones which I want which sell only laptops because this entire set means they are selling laptops and PCs because this set this portion is selling laptops and PCs both but what I require is I require only this portion which sells purely the laptops so for that what would I do I would first extract all the makers which sell laptops this will also require uh, this will also include some of the portion of the makers which sell printers as well and then sorry PCs as well and then from 
this set i'll subtract the makers which sell pcs so essentially by using set difference we'll be able to extract these makers so that's all what i've done over here i have done what i've done is i have first extracted the makers corresponding to the ones who sell laptops so from the product table we apply a condition that type equals to laptop and we project the makers and then we subtract the makers selling PCs. Let's solve for this one. Let's move on to the next. So in the next one we have find the model number and price of all the products made by Dell. So first of all we want the manufacturer as Dell and then the model and the price of all the products. That means essentially we require to join our product table with the PCs, laptops and our printers individually printers individually and then we'll have to project the model price from them why didn't i uh, just uh, unioned these records and then projected model and price because the structure of the individual pc laptop and printer tables are different schemas are different so attribute columns are different and you can only union between the tables which have the same number of attributes and the same type of attributes so the columns and the type of columns should be same only then you can perform a union operation so what we do over here is first of all we select the products with type pc and maker dell and we join it with the pc table and we project the model and price we do the same thing for the ones with laptop and the ones with printer and then we union these tuples so finally we get the entire collection of the products made by Dell. We get their model number and price. So that's all for this query. In the next session I'll be dealing with some more complex queries which will particularly deal with the relational algebra product queries. So in case you are a bit weak in that topic or you want some more questions to be practiced in that topic, please go through that one as well. And in case you like this video, please like it and keep subscribed for more good work coming up. Thank you.